So Brett, tell me about this strange shape at the back of the boat. Yeah. How's that different to the other boats? Okay, well, you'll see here we've got this chine line, and we're not the only boat that has that. There's uh, Mathia in, in uh, Italy, and uh, one of the other boats from France, the Shockwave, also has this chine. Similar, but we have a little bit of a different concept with ours. It runs out at about two metres forward, and it's kind of like the strakes on a powerboat. And what happens is we've got a much more V-shaped transom than most of the boats, which are, which are much squarer. And what happens with the square transom is your water lines in the stern get very rounded uh, when you're sailing with the stern close to the water, and which is generally in light air, and you're looking to minimise your drag. And so we've gone with this more V-shaped, and it, we find that our water lines are much straighter off the transom. And the boat's very fast in light air, upwind, downwind, everywhere, basically. And then when it blows a bit, having a bit less volume in the bottom of the hull here allows the stern to sink in, which actually rocks the boat up onto the plane much more easily. And then these chines make a lot of lift, and the boat actually really rides high in the water downwind and is extremely fast. So that means you can drive it really hard downwind? You, you can really drive it hard because it allows the bow to sit up more. Um, and there's a lot of volume in under the bow as well. But, but this, this chine makes the lift, and this allows the boat to sink and, and use, utilise that lift really well. It also gives a really clean water flow on the outside of the hull when you're going upwind. Instead of the waves wrapping up around the hull, they tend to come up, hit this, and square off, and, and that also possibly reduces a bit of wetted surface drag. So one of the other features we have is our internal main sheet system boom. There's a few other people who are doing it, but we've been building this system basically on the tornadoes for a long time. And so we've brought the same technology over to the F-18. Uh, this is a nine to one purchase, and like, you, know, you can see how easily it runs in and out. This is, you know, I'm only pulling a couple of kilograms of load here. Uh, basically, we just utilise all the internal fittings from Harkin, um, high load sheaves, four millimetre denema, and just use nice ropes, nice blocks. The friction's super low. It feels like you're sheeting with a 10 to one, and it runs out like you're sheeting with a six to one. So it's great for the cruise. It gives you a lot more control of the, on the boat. And uh, that's one of, the, one of the things that we've actually been selling quite a few of these aftermarket to uh, the manufacturers. Alright, so this is another little interesting feature we have, is these polyurethane rubber tiller joints. This is something we've been utilising at Windrush for probably over 35 years. So they're very reliable and it actually allows the rudder to self-centre. But there's no moving parts, there's no pins that can come loose. There's, it's always extremely firm in your hand. Um, and easy to disassemble, pull the screw out, take it apart. And, uh, you know, and how strong is it? Uh, well, if you nose dive and you hang onto the crossbar, I don't, you won't break it. So we also utilise this large diameter crossbar, um, which is a bit different from other people, but it's kind of as a consequence of the joint, because the joint was originally designed to go on the Windrush 14 uh, to do the same job, but at 90 degrees to the way we utilise it now. And so on a Windrush 14, this would be the tiller arm running down to the rudder with a crossbar. And so in this case, we use the joint the opposite way and use the large diameter for the crossbar. It's extremely nice to hold onto downwind when you're sailing with a spinnaker up. This makes it more comfortable. Your company, can you tell me a bit about that? Windrush Yachts has been around now for over 40 years. Um, my family actually bought the business when I was finishing high school 30 years ago. and. Um, and I've been working in it for 30 years, basically you know, started sweeping the floors, rolling out fiberglass, and every job through to the point where about uh, 15 years ago my wife and I actually bought the company off the rest of the family and started doing some more adventurous projects like a 40 foot hydrofoiling catamaran and, and, the, you know, and then the F-18 and so on. Mm. So it's a West Australian based company and it's been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, West Australian, uh, everything's made in West Australia. Well, everything that we can is made in West Australia. Everything we can, we utilise Australian products where we can. We make the hulls, the foils, we, we make everything in house. Assemble all our own beams, we uh, got our own dies to cut for the beams and have them extruded. Um, we share some components with some of the other manufacturers, mast sections and mast bases. We've now started making our own boom sections and we actually supply them to some of the other manufacturers. So it's quite a, a co cooperative environment in Formula 18. And it's really, no one's really got a big ego about having the best boat. Everyone just wants to have the best sailing. Fantastic. And tell me about your boat. Like, it's one thing going fast, 
but a lot of people it's about the price of the boat. Yep. Tell me about does it does it compete with the uh, overseas competitors? Well, now that the Australian dollar has started to come back to sort of places where it was more like when we designed the boat originally, it's actually we are getting very competitive on price uh, to sell overseas, and you know we we're looking at being able to send boats into the UK at about fourteen thousand um, pounds, which I think. You know, once they realise that they're going to be able to buy boats for that sort of price, so we're, we hope we'll get some orders. But the performance of the boat's been great. We've had um, Italian teams winning the Italian Championships a few times. We've had British teams winning the UK Nationals, the Belgian Nationals. We've been three times second in the Australian Championships. It just The boat just goes, and for the, for the number of them that we've built, uh, it's amazing the quality of the results that they've achieved. So, we look forward to having more boats on the water and getting even better results. So the boat's fast, the boat's reasonably priced, the boat wins races, but does it fall to bits? No, absolutely. The boats are so, so solid. Um, when, when I talk to the other manufacturers about what we've got in these boats, they can't believe that we can actually build them to the weight that we do. You know, It's just we're so passionate about building them, our construction is you know, yeah, almost every boat is almost a bespoke product for the owner and um, I really I really pride myself on the construction of the boats and uh, they, they are extremely strong, extremely stiff. Oh, well good luck on the, the championship Brett, we hope to see you up there and certainly it's a very distinctive looking boat so we'll see you out there. Thank, Thank you very you. much.